So if you missed it yesterday, um, basically the premise of this game is SpongeBob has been given two free tickets to the Neptune's Paradise Amusement Park, which he's trying to get to, travel to, with his good buddy, starfish friend, Patrick. Uh, but first they need, like chapter one was all about getting uh, bus tokens so they could they could travel on the bus to get to the amusement park. And then after we got the bus tokens, the bus ended up uh, running at it, first taking a wrong turn because there was a storm and they couldn't see. And then, and then the bus ran, ran out of gas. So chapter two, oh, and then they couldn't get a new bus out of rock bottom until the storm uh, cleared up and it was safe to travel again. So chapter two was about getting control of like a weather controlling device so that the storm could be removed. And then we took the bus back to Bikini Bottom because I guess the bus driver didn't want to take us in the end to the amusement park. And then chapter three was getting with um, <clears throat> finding an alternate way to travel to the amusement park, which we found with our friend Sandy the squirrel and her rocket ship. So we had to get, I don't know, uh, fish tank bowl to be able to breathe and all this other stuff. Um, but yeah, then we just did travel with her and uh, I think it ended up crashing as you can actually see in this screenshot. Um, but hopefully we should be close to the amusement park. So that's what we're, we're picking things up with chapter four. At least you chose a SpongeBob game that's actually adventure. Oh, the other three are likely not. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. This one, yeah, this one was went uncontested. No one could contest this adventure quality. All right, let's resume our timer. Here we are in chapter four. Let's talk to Sandy. Sandy, is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, go get these oxygen tanks filled at Oxygen Springs. It's just up the road. Okay. Fill up oxygen tanks. Oh, and we unlocked a new location on our map. Nice. Oxygen Springs, and we're at the rocket landing. Alrighty. What else could we do here? San Look at Sandy's rocket. Boy, Sandy's rocket sure took a beating when it landed here. Indeed, indeed. Seaweed. Huh, even the seaweed here is high class. <laughs> With the dollar signs. And her phone booth. Hey, Gobik, welcome. SpongeBob is going well. Ooh, we're gonna have we're gonna be dialing a phone number, huh? It's empty. No. Coin slot. I have to put a quarter in the slot in order to use this phone. Okay, we don't know what we're gonna use the phone for yet, but find quarter for phone. I also need to get a phone number. I have to put a quarter in the slot in order to use this phone. All right, all right. Hang up the phone. Oh, exit the phone booth, please. So we need to get a quarter. We just have the oxygen tanks for now. Anything more with Sandy? Sandy, is the rocket broken? Well, it's damaged, but it don't look like nothing I can't handle. I'm pretty sure I can fix it, given the time. So we did crash land and fix it. How do I collect oxygen again? Well, the oxygen comes out of these geysers in the ground. So, you just use the empty tanks on the mouth of one of these geysers, and it'll suck up the air like a vacuum. Okay, if you say so. I say so. Now get moving. You get moving, Sandy. I gotta go, Sandy, but I'll be back. See you around, partner. See you around, Sandy. See you around. Let's walk down this road. Ooh, look at this billboard. Sublime Seafoods. Oh, well, there's the phone number we probably need. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm seafoods. Five, 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 four, 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 four. Nice. Okay, Sandy's rocket. More seaweed. Ah, even the seaweed here is high class. Coral. The coral sure is pretty here in Bottoms Up. So we're in Bottoms Up. We left Bikini Bottom and we've gone to Bottoms Up. Run, SpongeBob, run. All right. Oxygen Springs, please. Members only, jacket required. Members only, jacket required. I wonder what they mean by that. So we need a jacket to get in here. Talk to the intercom. Hello, welcome to Oxygen Springs Resort and Spa. Our refreshing fountains of air rejuvenate and revitalize. How may I help you? Hi, I just 
just wanted to use your oxygen thingies for a minute? Why, you would be more than welcome to. Unfortunately, you don't seem to meet our dress code. We require jackets, you see. Oxygen spring. Alright. Jackets? Isn't everybody in there wearing swimsuits? Well, yes, they are. But before they're allowed to change into swimsuits, they must be wearing jackets. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. Just don't think about it too much. And please come back once you've fulfilled our simple dress requirements. Oh, Tartar Tot. <laughs> but I really need some oxygen. It's really important. I see. What I don't see is a jacket. That's because I don't have one. Great. I'm happy for you. So, uh... Can I come in? I'm not sure what part of jacket required you don't understand. Mm, the required part. Okay, well that means you need to be wearing a jacket to come inside. Now that's a pretty narrow interpretation, don't you think? Look buddy, I may be just a camera, but I wasn't born <laughs> yesterday. No, oh, come on camera, it's me, your old pal Spongebob. Should that name mean something to me? Because it doesn't, please come back when you get a jacket. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, tartar tot. I guess I'd better be going. It's been a pleasure recording you. I love this tartar sauce like swear thing. I have to speak through the intercom to get this gate to open. All right, all right. All right, so now we just need to find a quarter, I imagine. Um, all these places are locked. So back to the rocket landing. Um, maybe we can ask Sandy for a quarter? She might have one. Although we don't know why we're calling Sublime Seafoods, honestly, from a plot perspective. Meanwhile! What is this? Someone My golden looks very angry. Sacre bleu, why can't we all just get along? What? Is that like two boring feuding neighbors or something? Interesting. Sandy, do you have a quarter, please? Hi, Sandy. I'm back. Well, howdy, SpongeBob. Oh, boy. Um, here we go. Sandy, they won't let me into Oxygen Springs. They said I don't meet the dress code. But you're wearing a tie. They said I need a jacket. Hmm. My old friend Cowfish Greg might have one you can borrow. He lives in Waverly Hills. Try checking with him. Okay. Thanks, Sandy. Great, what was his name? Greatfish? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, we got a new location. Thank you, Sandy. Sandy Dandy. Hi, Sandy. I'm back. Well, howdy, SpongeBob. All right, so I think we know all this. Okay. I gotta go, Sandy, but I'll be back. See you around, partner. Partner. All right, Craigfish. Or no, Waverly Hills to see Craigfish. Ooh, coconut. Get the normal coconut, please. Is there going to be a young coconut? I don't want to do that. Yes, you do. I don't want to do that. Yes, you do, SpongeBob. Yes, you do. I can't believe you can't look at the fountain. That's surprising. All right, go up to the gate. Hey, comfy. How many games did you kill off the queue in the end? Um, well, uh, Steer Madness... Haunting Ground, Lego, uh, Dog Island, Lego Island. So I think, yeah, four. And if you want to count total, let's also not forget Meth Blaster Episode 2. That's five five picks that you've made that have been de-adventured. Okay, we got a water pump and a pressure plate. I don't think I'm heavy enough to activate this gate. Mm, okay. Activate pressure plate with more weight. Use the water pump. That water's getting pumped. Okay, that'll probably populate the fountain with water. Statue. Those statues look like King Neptune. What a swell guy. Indeed. Look at this flag. Gate pressure plate. Oh, it's the same thing. Those statues look like King... <laughs> okay, so that walks around the gate. All right, let's just see what we... Uh, let's just see, make sure that the fountain is running. It is. Now we can look at it. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy, I feel bloated. All that water may be extra heavy. Perfect, now we can open up the gate. 
to be heavy enough now. Bam! Mm, looks like the gate got jammed open. Good. That's good news. That's good news. All right. So before we go inside, let's um. Actually, yeah, let's get a save in here. I don't even know what number we're on. Seventeen, maybe. All right. Let's walk around the gate. Let's see what's around here. We we'll probably need maybe another item or two to take inside. What? Did walk around the gate just go to the other side, literally? <laughs> okay. And a Waverly Hills. Those houses look like they cost a lot of money. So this is like a gated community. Elitists. Look at the castle. I've heard that a man's home is his castle, but that is just nuts. Agreed, agreed. Okay, let's walk to the Golden Mansion. Dollar shaped pool. I wonder what they fill that pool with. Not water? Okay, we got an oil shack up here. That mansion looks kind of plain compared to the others, but I take it. Yes, you would, SpongeBob. Yes, you would. Well, I guess the next best thing to traveling is to live in a house that's traveled. Waka waka. All right, let's go to the gold mansion. Yeah, it's it's fine. I mean, it's obviously not very challenging, but this is my first exposure to SpongeBob too, so it's been, golden coconuts. It's been nice to. You know, learn the characters and the, the humor. Been a few good jokes. I wonder what kind of car he drives. Wait, we'll look at Platinum what? Door knocker. Oh, now, come on. There has to be a better use for money than that. There has to be. My golden coconuts. I have to squint to even look at that house. Sheesh. That palm tree is leaning right over that fence. Okay, so that must be the neighbor feuding squad. Carlton Ritz. Nice. Hi! How are you doing on this fine day? Not good. I'm angry. Why are you angry? The sun is shining. Your house is made of gold. Yeah, gold. And it's all mine, you hear? You can't have it. Whoa, whoa! I don't want it. Why are you so upset? I'm sorry for yelling. It's just that no good neighbor of mine, Cowfish Craig. Not only does he make the whole neighborhood look bad by living in a tool shed, but he took one of my golden coconuts. Do you have any idea how long it takes to grow a golden coconut? Longer than a platinum plum? Not funny. Anyway, now I have to stay out here and guard my own property. Sheesh. Wait, so I understand how the golden coconut... Oh, I see. He's got to guard the property so that more of his co golden coconuts aren't taken. Gotcha. Maybe I can help you to get your golden coconut back. You would do that? I'll tell you what. You get my coconut back, and I'll give you a king's ransom. A king's ransom, huh? Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll give it a try. Hooray. Why would Cowfish Craig take one of your coconuts? Search me. He's probably angry at us for trying to buy out his land. But his shack is an eyesore. It's keeping all of our property values down. Well, he has as much right to live here as you do. Actually, he has more. He was here first. Waverly Hills was built around him. Well, uh -huh. there you go. That doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. No, it doesn't. Hey, morning, members. Do you know where I could get a jacket? They won't let me into Oxygen Springs without one. I don't have any to lend you. Maybe you could get one from Sublime Seafoods. They have lots of extras. Well, I gotta go. Please keep off the path. It'll tarnish. Yeah. Can't even walk on the path. Let's see if you actually go to it. Will he say anything? Uh, we're tarnishing your path, sir. That's funny. So there could be um, a Rodeo oh, Drive. Coconuts. So there actually could be two different solutions to getting the jacket, which I kind of doubt. But Because Sandy said to go to Cowfish Craig, but he's saying you'd get it at Sublime Seafoods, which probably makes more sense, honestly. All right. Um, oh, we can't go to this house. All right, let's go to the oil shack. So he literally does live in a shack. Cowfish Craig. That shack looks a little out of place here. Indeed. Dirty sink. A halfway sunk sink. Old tire. <laughs> what was that? Looked like a brown asker the gouch in worm form. <laughs> oil well. That looks like a makeshift oil drill. Shack, sweet shack. Interesting. Hmm, is that home sweet home? Alright, enter the shack. Hey, Neil. 
All right, here's Cowfish Craig. Check out his clag sink. Looks like there's an old cowboy boot in there. Hmm. Lock. No wonder he's friends yeah. with Sandy. They both have Texas on the brain. Love the Texas. Fire sprinkler. Hope he doesn't sprout a leak. Yeah. He'll get drenched. Indeed. I walk. Okay, there's a back room. Cactus, shovel, no. Sock, book, no. TV? TV. I think he's watching the good, the bad, yeah. and the orca. Nice place you got here. Much obliged, partner. My name's SpongeBob SquarePants. What's your name? Folks around here call me Cowfish Craig. Not that I give two hoots what folks around here do. Aha! Uh -huh. You're the one Sandy sent me to find. I should have known. May I call you yeah. Cowfish? I'm not too particular about names and such. A man is a man by virtue of his deeds, not his title. An urchin by any other name would still sting like crazy if he sat on it. Ouch. <laughs> I was curious, Mr. Cowfish. Why don't you live in a big old mansion like all these other people? You think a man's house says something about him? I'll let you in on a little secret. A humble man is a happy man. Don't let yourself get caught up in all them our fancy hooplas. Good Before advice. Before you know it, all your luxuries have turned into necessities. What about a heated pool? That'd be nice, huh? Yeah, yeah. Actually, a heated pool would rock. <laughs> it's true, though. Like, yeah, if, you're, if the luxuries become the necessities, then you're kind of a slave to them because you kind of feel like you need them. Ah. And then it's makes it harder to attain them. The more stuff that you need, the harder it is to be happy because you always feel like you're in need. Very good advice, yes, indeed. I spoke with your neighbor. He says you took one of his golden coconuts. Well, that figures. I didn't take nothing. He's got that darn palm tree hanging over my fence, dropping those silly, shiny coconuts in my yard. I just picked one up to prove a point is all. He's always getting his shorts in a bunch about something. Well, um... Do you still have it? He'd ah. really like it back. I ain't giving it back. Besides, I'm putting it to really good use. What are you using it for? A paperweight. It's real heavy. What if I find you a new paperweight? Ah, horse feathers. All right, fine. If you can find something you can replace it with, be my guest. It's just down the hall. Thank you, Mr. Cowfish, sir. Yeah. Say, do you have any idea where I could find a jacket? I need one to get into Oxygen Springs. Now, what would you want to go there for? Nothing there but guppies with their cellular telephones and their fancy shoes and their intranet. Ugh, do yourself a favor. Don't bother. Well, actually, I really need to go there. It's the only ah. place I can get oxygen to refuel my friend's rocket. Oh, well, in that case, I wish you luck. I'll lend you one of my jackets, but uh, I don't own any. Sometimes I go down to Sublime Seafoods and they'll lend me a jacket because they got a dress code, too. Oh, wait, that won't work. They always take it back when you're done eating. Hmm. Maybe they'd let me use one for a while if I ask nicely. Could be, son. Could be. But I doubt it. Well, I've got to go. Ah. Talk to you later. Get along, little doggy. <laughs> little doggy. We're back to playing uh, Stampede with those doggies. All right. What I think is going to happen is when we when we get the, ah. the coconut back for Carlton, the king's ransom that he's going to pay us is going to be literally a quarter so that we can call... <laughs> that we can call Sublime Seafoods. All right, let's go to his back room. Whoa, overhead view. What does it say, folk? Folk. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like a Tomb Raider segment. Love it. Or Indiana Jones, rather. All right, here's the golden coconut. Oh, but we need a replacement paperweight. We only have oxygen tanks right now. Those must be relatives of Cowfish Craig's. Got it. So let's just see what happens if you don't have the uh, replacement weight. Wow, a golden coconut. Bet I could swap it with a normal coconut. Oh, that's true. We do have a normal coconut. Well, thanks for telling me, SpongeBob. I forgot that we picked this up. We only, I thought we only had the oxygen tank. Oh, come on. That wasn't a very smooth swap. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what folks were saying yesterday. Oh, yeah. Wow! A normal coconut! Bet I could swap it with a golden coconut. Alright, so we got the, uh, oops. 
We got the um, golden coconut. Ooh, how are we gonna get back through this gap? Ah, uh, he'll go around. All right, let's head in, hand this into uh, Carlton Ritz. Yeah, so I'm kind of curious now. I, and Duckman too. That was um, playing the Duckman game. That was also a cartoon I'd never seen before. And it seemed pretty uh, funny. Oh, I keep on right clicking that. Okay, here you go, Carlton. Some promising sh shows to catch up on. I got your golden coconut back. Oh, my precious golden coconut. My precious, my precious. My precious. Thank you so much, strange square thing. Let me give you your reward. Here you are. Yep, there's the quarter. Knew it. Okay. A quarter? Well, I don't carry much cash on me. Sorry. Gee, thanks. <laughs> he does the dance. Nice. All right, we haven't found the VHS tape for this yet, which is too bad. Quarter. All right, so let's go back to the... Um, coconuts. Let's go to the payphone. Oh, wait, we can just fast travel. Rocket landing. Morning, Kira. All right, phone booth. Let's give Sublime Seafoods a call, see at least where they're located. Um, quarter. Sublime Seafoods. How may I help you? I need directions. Where are you guys? We are located at the top of a quaint hill that rises from the kelp forest. The view is breathtaking, I assure you, madame. I'm not a madam. Oh, <laughs> I apologize, mademoiselle. How silly of me. <laughs> Try again. Oh, my goodness. A thousand apologies. Sir? You got it! Well, sir, we are very easy to find. We are located just south of Waverly Hills. Great, thanks! Adieu, sir. Adieu, all right, we unlocked a new location for the uh, seafood. Hey, morning, Eric. Yeah, we, uh, we got Memorial Day here in the US. All right, Sublime Seafood, here it is. Oh, we got the whole map now. Nice. Check it out. Sublime Seafoods, I have arrived. Yes, you have. Security gate. Excuse me, I'm just passing through. That's what you think. Nobody gets up these stairs without an invitation. Invitation? To what? Sublime Seafoods is having a party this evening to celebrate the unveiling of their new slogan. Sorry, it's by invitation only. Oh, really? What's the new slogan? I don't know. Something real catchy, I expect. <laughs> catchy. Seafood. Get it? Waka waka. No. Move along. Look, I really need to get in there. It's extremely important. Well, you can't. Now shove off. Don't make me come out there. They don't call me the bouncer for nothing. Please, please, Mr. Bouncer. I'll be your best friend. Okay, that does it. I'm coming out. Get ready to say hello to my little friend. Uh-oh. <laughs> now why are you making such a commotion? <laughs> You're the bouncer. I thought we had established that already. You sure there's not a couple more of you in there? What is this twaddle? The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Oh, all right. Now get moving. Bye. Goodbye. Tony. Tony the bouncer. Hi again. The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Yeah, now what is twaddle? Moving. Well, I've got to go. Yeah, well, we don't. We definitely don't have the invitation, so I'm guessing. I'm guessing we go back to talk to uh, Sandy. She may have some ideas. Oh, Sandy. Or, or we have to see Cowfish Craig. Um. 
Yeah, we probably should have talked to him. But anyway, let's see what Sandy has to say. Hi, Sandy. I'm back. Howdy, SpongeBob. Howdy. Okay, this is all the same. All right, it's nothing with her. I gotta go, Sandy, but I'll be back. See you around, partner. Partner. All right, so let's let's talk to a uh, cowfish critic. Elk. Elk Nader. Thank you for the 29 months. Thanks, Elk. Happy Monday, Elk. 29 months. Walk to the shack. Although he's actually running. Run, SpongeBob, run. Hello again. Howdy, partner. Oh, no, there's nothing new here either. Um. So are we gonna get this invitation? Well, I've gotta go. Talk to you later. Get along, little doggy. Little doggy. All right, I guess since we're here, we'll also talk to Carlton Ritz. Hmm. Invitation, eh? He might be well connected, this Carlton Ritz. Thanks for the quarter, mister. Watch where you walk. That seagrass hasn't rooted yet. Get a dog, little. <laughs> you know, he, he, he gets it backwards. Thanks My for the quarter, mister. Coconuts. Watch where you. Okay, so that's just no, nothing more to do with Carlton. That palm tree is leaning Sheesh. right over that fence. All right, where are we gonna get this uh, invitation? Let's make sure we didn't miss any places to go. Oh, drawbridge. Look at drawbridge. No. Okay. Walk to the shack. Hmm. Maybe we should check someone's mailbox and steal it from them. The only other place we could go is Oxygen Springs itself, but uh, let's talk to the intercom. Yeah. I have returned. Let the bells ring out across the land. But I really need some oxygen. It's really important. I see. What I don't see is a jacket. That's because I don't have one. Great, I'm happy for you. Is it? This is just repeating. Right. I guess I better be going. It's been a pleasure recording you. So where are we getting this invitation? Hmm. There are only four locations. We've talked to all the characters. And all we have is the tanks. Hi again. The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Now get moving. Well, I've got to go. Must have been like a, an exit or something that we missed at one of the uh, places. Probably Waverly Hills. Whoop. What did happen there? Oh, I opened up the... Yeah, okay, where are you guys Maybe we go to... Oh, wait. Maybe around walk around the gate works now differently. Probably not. No. Strange. That's still, that's still that really that strange. All right, let's go back in the back room. Oh wait, wasn't there? Um, wasn't the coconut sitting on a deed piece of paper? Is it a bill or a deed or something? Probably don't need to take it. But yeah, it's a bill. I can't even. Wow! A normal coconut! Bet I could swap it with a golden coconut. You could. Those must be relatives of cowfish craigs. Come on, cowfish. Folk. Hmm. I think he's watching the good, the bad, and the orca. Can't take the shovel to do any digging. Ah. Probably just need to look out for the mailbox. Looks like there's an old cowboy boot in there. Hello. Howdy, partner. Say, do you have any idea where I could find a jacket? I need one to get into Oxygen Springs. Now, what would you want to go there for? Yeah, Not there, there, but... Uh, well, actually, I really need to go... Oh, well, in that case, I wish you... Sometimes I go down to... Oh, wait, that won't work. Hmm, maybe that could be... Well... Get along. Get along, little doggy. Yeah, no mailbox here. I don't find a mailbox. 
Rodeo Drive. <laughs> they probably say rode uh, Rodeo here. Yeah, I don't see any mailboxes. Yeah, show hates Oxford commas. Maybe they just didn't know any better. Yeah, no mailbox here. No mailboxes to be found. How about turn the water pump off? Sounds like I turned on some water somewhere. No. What are you ready for, Dark? Yeah, delimiter should delimit. I agree with you. Oh, can we get another coconut? I don't want to do that. Nope. Oh man, what the heck? Sublime Seafoods five 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 four 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 four. Well, that seems easy enough to remember. Oh, yeah. No, this is my first exposure to SpongeBob. True. True. Sandy, please help us with an invitation. Hi, Sandy. I'm back. Howdy, SpongeBob. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go look for that oxygen place. Where did you say it was again? It's just up the road. You can't miss it. I gotta go, Sandy. But I'll be back. See you around, oh, partner. Maybe. Oh. Maybe we could call back. We don't have another quarter. That looks though. like a phone booth. If we could... That looks like a phone booth. Oh, wow, they don't even let you go back. I was going to say we could call up and ask for an invitation, but we can't even, we can't even get in a phone like... booth. This is not happening. The coral sure is pretty here in Bottoms Up. So this is... Wow. I just must be missing something. Rocket Landing, Oxygen Springs, Beverly Hills, Sublime Seafoods. No invitations. No mailboxes. All right, what if, sir, what if I give you my oxygen tanks? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> that's fine, that's my, I got my invitation right here. Say hello to my little friend. Damn. Wow. This is surprising. Asshole, you knowingly chose, cho uh, picked what you thought would be an annoying game for me to play. How could you, Basil? How could you? Yeah, it's it has to be in Waverly Hills, but I just don't know where. Uh, I don't need to soak up any more water. Oh yes, you do. I don't want to do that. All right, so let's make sure we just cover everything. Any exits? Hot spots. <laughs> Good old fashioned one. Oh, thanks, Bob. It would be bad, yes. This is what, remember what we said at the start of the stream? Those statues look like King Neptune. What a swell guy. So the only item we have are the, uh, yeah, the, the tanks. Maybe this is walking around the other side, we just don't know it. No, nothing seemed to have changed. Hmm. Okay, make, make sure you can't enter any of these houses. Or go to the backyards or anything. Look at house. There's no enter or walk to. You found back there. I guess the next best thing to traveling is to live in a house that's traveled. I wonder what they fill that pool with. That mansion looks kind of plain compared to the others. Oh. Wait. Oh. No. Ah, it's the shack. Damn. Okay, and you can't walk up the road from the shack, huh? I was looking for a mailbox to raid somebody's mail, but... Now it goes back. Oh! Wait, no, damn. That's just under check. I thought that was going back of check. Use map, no. Can we, like, unclog his sink? A halfway sunk sink! 
with the other sink. Apparently not. Well, the chat says I'm blind. That's true. I must be missing something. My golden coconuts. Oh, Sheesh. now, come on. There has to be a better use for money than that. Thanks for the quarter, mister. Watch where you walk. That seagrass hasn't rooted yet. That palm tree is leaning right over that fence. My I wonder what coconuts. kind of car he drives. Let's find out. Open up the garage Sheesh. and find out. Check the shack again because Cowfish Craig must have had it. He goes to he actually goes to the seafood place, so he must have an invitation somewhere. I would think. Even though we can't talk to him about it. Sock. Under the mat? Nope. Ah! Oh, it is a missed exit. Okay, hang on. I think I could find it. Well, I know that it's not the bill. There's nowhere else to go here. Hey, Lars. Could be a missed exit actually at the, um... Hang on. Rocket landing, maybe. Probably didn't check this area. Okay, that goes to Sandy's rocket. Back to bottoms up. Seaweed, billboard. Oh, looks like it's it. Down here? No. Walk down road, that's where we came back from. Rocket, coral, seaweed, bottoms up. We can't enter the phone booth anymore. That looks like a phone booth. Bottoms up. Other side. Oh the mezzanine. Gosh. Fine shops and restaurants. We found it. We found it. <laughs> all right, wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow full of money? Were all the banks closed? Yes, they were. <laughs> hey, Lars. Sign. Gold Rush. I bet they sell gold there. What a pretty fountain. <laughs> kind of interesting, but nothing I'd spend good money on. Trinkets. What a cute little tent! I didn't know people could camp around here. Huh. Really <laughs> That's a normal old lamp post. A normal lamp post here? Okay, there's another side there as well. All right, talk to Timmy. Hi. Not much business today, huh? Nah, but it should pick up later. Sublime Seafoods is having a party tonight, and they gave me an invitation to give out to one lucky winner. Oh, Ooh. can I have it? Well, I can't just give it to you. I was instructed to hold a little trivia contest and give the invitation to the winner. Where exactly is Sublime Seafoods anyway? It's in a sunken ship rising out of the kelp forest right behind us. It's quite breathtaking. You can see it from those binoculars at Lookout Point. Oh, cool. Sounds fancy. Oh, it is. I have to be frank. You don't look like sublime seafood material, but I like you just the same. Great. Hmm. Hey, Sharpie, thanks for those. A contest? That sounds like fun. What do I have to do? You have to tell me what Sublime Seafood's new slogan is. By the way, I like your shoes. Well, thank How you. How am I going to find out the slogan? Well, that's for you to figure out. Well, I got to go. The bathroom's that away. <laughs> that's my little joke. Tee hee. Well, we did ask the bouncer, but he didn't know. <laughs> I do remember that. All right, let's go to the other side here. That's the kelp forest. I can barely see a restaurant in the distance. Barely. That's a normal old lamppost. 
Binoculars. Oh, this has a coin return too. Ooh, I can see sublime seafoods from here. There it is. Can we move the. Oh, yeah. Sublime seafoods taste like chicken. Nice, Logan. All right, we got this, Logan. Bam. Bam. B back to the mezzanine. We'll win this trivia contest yet. <laughs> I know the slogan! Okay, what is it? Sublime seafoods taste like chicken. You win. Here is your invitation. Use it in good health. Thank Great. you. Thanks. Invitation procured. My only concern is we haven't gotten the uh, VHS cassette for this uh, area yet. Invitation to the security gate. Actually, you'd think it would be here. But... Hmm. Tony. Good evening, my dear sir. Here's my invitation for the night's festivities. Excellent. This is all in order. Enjoy yourself. Why, thank you, Tony. I thank you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Your dance, funny bad. Do your dance, oh yeah. Get that groove on. Can walk up the path. Can't walk side the path. There we go, sublime seafoods. This path sure winds around quite a bit. That kelp forest looks like it would be really easy to get lost in. So this isn't really supposed to be a sky, so what exactly is the orange then? Since they're underwaters. Oh, is that crayfish? Shapiro the Mithra the waiter. He's the code girl. Look at all those jackets. Uh, I don't know what to talk to her about. We're gonna have to steal a jacket there. Hi, this sure is a pretty restaurant. Hey, yes it is. It is a high class establishment. And at the risk of sounding rude, you look a little out of your element. It's true. Well, I'm really only here to ask if I can borrow a jacket. Hey, you most certainly cannot. Our suits are reserved for patrons who, for some reason or another, have forgotten to bring their own jackets. We cannot go around willy-nilly giving out jackets to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who comes in here. But my name's SpongeBob. Yes, it most certainly is. I'm sorry, uh, uh, SpongeBob, but I cannot help you. SpongeBob, SquarePants, table for one, please. I have an invitation. Uh, Mr. SquarePants. I see you did not bring a jacket. She did Please, not. Please, get one from Lisa, our coat check girl. Uh, okay. I gotta go. Catch you later. Adieu. Adieu. Quite a selection. How am I ever gonna decide what I want? By talking to Lisa, the coat check girl. Hi, I'm supposed to get a jacket from you. Okay, here you go. Please don't forget to return it when you are done eating. I gotcha. Really... Thanks. Wow. Nice threads. We're looking pretty spiffy now. So we have the jacket, but the question is how do we escape with the jacket? Actually, could, yeah, could we just... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Save for a second. I want to see. Can you just leave? They took the coat back when oh. I left the restaurant. Barnacles. I need to find a way to get out without them noticing it. Okay, yeah, sure enough. <laughs> we can't we can't choose that. <laughs> okay, I got me a jacket. Excellent. We have a table for you all the way in the back up the stairs. Please enjoy your uh, meal. Uh, why, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Mm -hmm. stink. A jellyfish! He looks so happy! Hello, little jellyfish friend! 
Occupied table. That table has someone at it already. I should find an empty one. That table. I don't want to do that. You don't want to talk to the waiter. Reserved table. That chandelier is blinding. Look at SpongeBob living the high class life. How come everyone everyone's by themselves? Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Sublime Seafood. Would you like to hear the specials? Or are you ready to order? Both. Could you tell me about the specials? Why, of course. We have a kelp salad with basil vinaigrette dressing. The kelp is grown in our very own simulated organic forest. And the vinaigrette is aged 400 years in oak barrels <laughs> from the Titanic. Nice. It is very mild, very sweet, and très delicious. Are there any other specials? We also have the sand cake tartar. The sand cakes are firmly packed by Finn and are 100% shell free. That comes with a delicate sea grape leaf tea, which is spiced and sharp. Spice Quite tea. delectable. I'm ready to order. What can I get you? I'll have a Krabby Patty. What? Krabby Patty? Well, I never get out. You must be from Bikini Bottom or some equally despicable place. Get out of this restaurant immediately. In fact, I shall remove you myself. Uh-oh, now I've done it! With the jacket, oh, I imagine. Poor SpongeBob. In deep water again. Is but this any way to... I forgot to remove his jacket. Maybe some good will come of this after all. There's no way to treat your customers. Aw, oh, they didn't show us... They didn't, they didn't show us, uh, throwing him out. That's too bad. Damn. Does he want to go back in? I can't go back in there. They kicked me out. Oh. I'm still concerned we haven't found this VHS cassette. Usually find it early in the chapter. Hmm. Well, we have the jacket, so we should be able to get to Oxygen Springs now. Hello, I'm back. Ah, yes, I see. And you have a jacket as well. Excellent. Please proceed inside and have a relaxing oxygen bath. Great. Thank you. In we go. Oh, that guy. How did he get in here? Yeah, what the hell, Patrick? Okay, we can walk to the building. Walk to the geyser. I guess that's it. Alright, walk to the geyser. Oxygen timer. That looks like some sort of timer. Connected to his camera? Hmm. That ladder leads up into the geyser. Dr. Patrick. Patrick, what are you doing here? I'm relaxing. Oxygen bath is sweet. But how did you get in here? I've been running around trying to find a jacket just so they'd let me in. Where's your jacket? Jacket? Nobody said anything to me about a jacket. But the camera at the gate. Didn't it say anything to you about a dress code? I didn't come through a gate. I just climbed over some coral. I really needed to use the bathroom. Oh, tartar sauce. Well, hurry up and get out. I gotta get oxygen from this geyser. I can't get out. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> well, how'd you get in here then? I don't remember. <laughs> well, where are your pants? They're in the bathroom, I think. Can you get them for me? All right, fine. I gotta go, Patrick. Okay, bye, SpongeBob. To the bathroom. First aid. That's a first aid kit. Happily, I'm not hurt, so I don't need it. Happily. Ah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yes, look at that. Looks like that might be the locker room. What about the bathroom? That looks like a towel rack. Everywhere I turn, more and more lockers. Davy Jones' locker. Oh, we got the VHS cassette. 
There we go. Looks like some sort of videotape. Yes. 100% VHS. VHS percent. Chapter 4, bonus movie. The making of SpongeBob, oxygen, exterior, etc. With the pencil roughs and the final inks. And the final TV paint. The 2D animation. The 3D biped animation. And the final 3D character. Here's scene four, or chapter four, scene six. The storyboarding stage. Hey, Sting. Good morning. Mm -hmm. And the shack interior. Wow, why'd they give him that big... Oh, get a cowboy hat, huh? So they start off real blocky and then they sculpt it out. Nice. Chapter 4 bonus movie complete. I'll save the game since we're here. Locker room. Alright, let's talk to the really familiar looking guy. Hey, it's you. Uh, hello, sir. May I get you a towel? No, but you can tell me what you're doing here. Are you sure you do not need a towel? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, yes, I I do not need a towel. I beg you to reconsider. Everyone should have a towel. Take the I'm towel. A sponge. I practically am a towel. Hey, it's your life. I'm just trying to help us all. Look, the jig is up. I've been seeing you everywhere. Now, what's the story, Buster? Me? You've been seeing me everywhere? Like where? Well, first I saw you at the Krusty Krab. You made me fix you a Krabby Patty. Then I saw you at the bus stop. You were kicking a can in the air. Then I saw you at Sardines. What do you think about that? I think you've gone quite mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good payoff of this writing joke. Hi, <laughs> Leonard. Hi, Petro. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Petro. Oh, that's awesome. Wait a second. Who was that? <laughs> that was my twin brother, Petro. Yeah. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Ryan. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Ryan. Uh, that's good. And that? That's another twin brother, Ryan. How many twin brothers do you have? Including Petro and Ryan? Yes. 4,132, more or less. Well, that explains it. Explains what? Never mind. Oh, that's awesome. Love it. All right, get Patrick's shorts. I don't know why uh, Petro had them. Yeah. Oh, tremendous. Just tremendous. Ah, you mistook my twin brothers for me? You must not have very good eyesight. What are you talking about? You all look exactly alike. Yeah, but I'm holding a mop. Duh. Just walk away, SpongeBob. Just walk away. Love it. Ah, you mistook right. my twin. What are you? Yeah. Just. All right, thank you. Uh, we, so we got the we got the shorts. Let's give them back to Patrick. Let's walk to the guy. That geyser is occupied. Occupied. Oh, Yeah. Okay, Patrick, here are your pants. Whoa, whoopee! Thanks, SpongeBob. You're welcome. Uh, could you turn around for a moment? I don't want you to see me naked. Okay, here I go. Okay, thanks, SpongeBob. You didn't peek, did you? We did. Yeah, of course not. Now, I just gotta fill these oxygen tanks and we can get going. Whoopee! Okay, oxygen. Whoops. I gotta do something with that timer. Okay. Where can we use them? Okay, maybe we have to get into the thing first. Did he use up the whole thing? Oh, we have to actually set the timer. For ah, there we go. Nothing like this. There we go. All right, the oxygen tanks are filled. Time to get out of here. Bam. We got the oxygen tanks filled. Yeah, and I'm all clean now, too. Great. Let's get out of here before we're too late. Excellent. Huh. Yippee. <laughs> Whoops. Time to put on your safety belt. Wait, we're gonna be the first 
in line. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's very crowded. Sorry, guys. Where is everybody? Park's closed. Oh. Huh? But we have special tickets to get into the park, see? Yeah. See? Those tickets are for next week. See? <laughs> this week we're having a private party for somebody named let's see here Spring Boob Squire Pin. Psst, that's SpongeBob Square Pants. Oh, I mean SpongeBob Square Pants. That me! Surprise! Hi there, SpongeBob. <laughs> Oh, 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 Congratulations, Spongy oh. Blogger. Hey, wait for me! To the bathroom! Where's the garden candy? My They're after me, boy! Oh, Raider right in, big fella! Whoa! This is more fun than eating! Look! Pumpkin Broncos! This roller coaster reminds me of the rodeos back home! You'd know how stupid you look. Look alive, SpongeBob! Woo -hee 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 -hee! This is the bestest day ever! Woo hee! Got a cowgirl! Oh, I'm gonna lose my lunch! Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. I'll I get some cloud in my sight. I went to college! I heard you say that friendship is something that is quite all are such good friends. Let's see you at work tomorrow. Ooh. Hey, there it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. There it is. Nice. And after three hours and thirty-two minutes and forty-nine seconds, SpongeBob SquarePants Employee of the Month has been fired. We made it to the Neptune's Paradise Amusement Park, where we had, I guess, a special surprise party. Oh man, traveling by bus and by rocket ship. We made it all over Bikini Bottom and Rock Bottom and Bottoms Up. All, all of the bottoms we explored, we explored in and out of all the bottoms. <laughs> oh man. Nice. Enjoyed it, enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, again, it was like the first SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, you know, again, I'd never seen the show, but based on this, which you guys said was consistent with the show, it seems, uh, seems pretty funny. It seems pretty funny, so it looks like I definitely missed out. I recommend the first two seasons at least, right, guys? All right, cool, so let's give out five Cedrics from Jack Wolf to all of chat. We're also going to give out three Cedrics for the end of the game, because the game took three hours and 32 minutes. We know about. We also did 100%. Uh, we collected all the movies, all the cutscenes and such were there. Oh no, the GG music has not been abolished. I think I just changed the setting and it probably didn't fire off. Maybe this. Here, if you want the GG music, there it is. Now we can celebrate. After the employee of the month has been laid off, the game is beaten, it's defeated, we can emerge victorious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they also did the Agatha Christie games. Nice. Yeah, I mean, the game wasn't obviously too challenging, but I guess it's, you know, it's appealing mostly to kids, you would think. Um, I did like that there was, you know, mostly it was like sort of fetch quests and there wasn't really too much <laughs> critical thinking involved, but... I did like the thing where they had the um, the slot machine, and then you had to translate the arrows to the map. I wish they'd done like one or two more things like that, just to vary up the gameplay a bit. I feel like I could have missed that. Did we miss a tape? No, we got all the tapes. Um, the fourth tape was in the Davy Jones's locker. Davy Jones video cassette. So thank you, Batsell, for the pick. Uh, yeah, there are at least three other SpongeBob SquarePants games on our list, but 
Maybe the one, those aren't as clear cut adventure. We'll see if they uh, retain the adventure genre by the time they come around. Yeah, no, there was one, um, there was one tape per, per chapter. So we got all four, which is good. Those were the sort of the optional Easter eggs, if you will. So nice. Uh, but yeah, still, I mean, enjoyable game, funny. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be long. Apparently the review, one of the reviews complained that the game is too short. Which, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind if there was one or two additional chapters, but it's fine. Yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, you could argue you wouldn't get your money's worth, depending on what the uh, retail price was at the time. One of them looked like a platform, the other a level-based puzzle game. Oh, okay, yeah. Then there's a third one there, too, though. There, there were three others, I think. Let's quit the game. Oh, I thought there was going to be, like, a fun SpongeBob kind of exit thing. No such luck. No such luck. All right, so let's head to our Hall of Adventure. Number two. And we're gonna add game 244, SpongeBob SquarePants, Employee of the Month. Put it up on the shelf. 